The other day I saw this question about backup on Evernote's unofficial subreddit. And today I was here thinking that my suggestion might make a good video. So let's do it. Okay, let's start with a traditional backup, meaning that you want to constantly make copies of your Evernote database. And if you have the client installed on your computer, you already have the files there. Evernote keeps everything in a file system. If you regularly backup your computer, you are also backing up Evernote files. And that's what I do. I don't have a special backup for Evernote. If you want to know where the files are, check my Reddit post, you find the link below. But please be very careful. Do not mess with the files, do not change anything, just back them up. Another strategy I have is running Evernote in multiple computers. My main computer is a laptop. I bring it home, take it to the studio, travel with it. But at the studio, I also have another computer that's constantly running, meaning that my database is also there. So if one computer fails, I also have a local copy on another computer. This is not exactly a backup. I would say it's more a backup of a backup because if I change something, say on the laptop, this will also change on the other computer and vice versa. So if I need to go back and find something that I deleted or changed by mistake, this strategy will not work. But at least I have two updated copies of Evernote and there is another way to retrieve information you deleted or changed by accident. Many people don't know this, but Evernote has its own recycle bin. So if you delete something by accident, you can always go there. And here's a tip within a tip. Because Evernote calculates the space we use by monthly uploads, there is no need to empty that recycle bin. It can work as uh, another backup, uh, a place where you can go any time to look for old files. And if you are a personal subscriber or beyond, Evernote keeps a history of all your notes. Open any note, click on the three dots on the upper right corner, then choose Note, Info, and finally View Note History. From there you can restore any version of that note or simply go through them and find parts of the text that you want to copy and paste. And what about you? Any backup strategy? Please use the comments below to share it with our community. Thanks for watching. See you soon.